Lalitanya Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Panchakalpata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavibyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Atvaita Kadadha Shri Vasade Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare we're reading the Krishna book and we're up to chapter number 84, entitled Vasudev's Yaknas. We heard how Lord Krishna had come from Dwarka along with all of his family members, including all of his wives. They'd all come to Kurukshetra to perform sacrifice at the time of the solar eclipse. And we heard how Lord Krishna was able to meet with all the people from Vrindavan. And then we also heard how uh, the, the different queens of Lord Krishna, the principal queens, they all described how they were able to become the wives of Lord Krishna. All right, so we're going to continue reading here. So among the women present at Kurukshetra during the solar eclipse were Kunti, Gandhari, Drupadi, Subhadra, and the queens of many other kings. So the different queens were telling about how they became the wives of Lord Krishna. All the, all the ladies of the Kuru dynasty, they were struck with wonder when they heard each of the queen's stories. And all of the ladies of the Kuru dynasty, they all admired the queens of Lord Krishna because they were so attached to Krishna with love and affection. When they heard the queens tell about how much love they had for Krishna, all the ladies in the Kuru dynasty, the eyes filled with tears. So all the ladies were busy talking to each other and the men, they were also talking to each other. And at that time, all of the different important sages and, uh, and yogis, they came for the purpose of seeing Lord Krishna and Balaram. The chief among the sages were people like Vyasadeva, 
and Narada and Asita and Devala. And then there were other people, many other great sages like Brigu and uh, Gotama and Lord Parasaram. And the four Kumaras who are the sons of Lord Brahma, they were also there. So when all of these sages came, all of the kings, including Maharaj Yudhisthira and the Pandavas and Lord Krishna and Balaram, they, made, they all got up from their seats to honour the sages and offered respect by bowing down to them. And all of the sages, they were then given seats and water for washing their feet and they were offered also garlands of flowers and fruits. And they offered also sandalwood pulp and incense. To so all the kings, including Krishna and Balaram, worshipped the sages according to the Vedic rules and regulations. So when all the sages were given nice seats, then Lord Krishna began to speak and address them on behalf of all the kings. And when Krishna began to speak, everyone became silent and everyone was eager to hear and understand what Lord Krishna was saying to the sages. So, so Lord Krishna began saying, all glories to the sages and ascetics. And Lord Krishna said, today our lives have become successful. Today we have achieved the goal of life. Now we see face to face all the great liberated sages and yogis, even the great demigods in the heaven desire to see them. And Lord Krishna said, those people who are just neophytes in devotional service and who just offer obeisances to the deity in the temple, but they cannot understand the Lord in the heart of everyone. So those who worship different demigods for their own material desires are unable to understand the importance of these great sages. So 
Even they may see them with their eyes, they cannot take advantage of their association. Even they may touch their lotus feet or they may inquire about their welfare. Even they may worship them. But they're not able to take advantage of them. So these neophyte devotees cannot understand the importance of great Mahatmas. So they go to the temple just out, just like just as a formality. And they pay their obeisances to the deity. But if one, but when, if one, if they get promoted to the next platform of transcendental consciousness, then they can understand the importance of Mahatmas. And they can appreciate the devotees. And then they will try to please them. But the neophyte, they cannot understand the importance of the devotees and the great sages. And Krishna said, you cannot purify yourself just by going to holy places. Even you may take a bath in the holy place and you may see the, de the form of the demigods in the temples, but it won't purify you. But if you meet a great devotee, if you meet a Mahatma who is the representative of Krishna, then you're immediately purified. So to get pure, to get purified, you're supposed to worship the fire, the sun, the moon, the earth, the water, the air, the sky, and the mind. When we worship all of these different elements and their different deities, then you gradually get free from envy. But all the sins of an envious person can get removed immediately just by serving a Mahatma. So Krishna says, my dear sages and kings, you can take it, take it from me that a person who accepts this material body made of three elements is a fool. Mm. 
造成的物质躯体为自己的人是个傻瓜。If we think that body made of mucus, bile, and air is ourself, or if we think our family members are worshipable, or if we think the relatives who accept them, we think the relatives as, as our own, then you're like an animal. You're just like a foolish animal. If we accept 由胆呃粘液、胆汁、空气组成的物质躯体为自己的，以为家庭和亲戚都是自己的拥有，并且崇拜物质事物，那我们就是一个愚蠢的动物。If you accept holy places of pilgrimage just to take a bath there, but if you never associate with the great devotees, then you're a fool. 如果我们以为造访圣地只是为了在那里沐浴，但从来不和伟大人物联谊，那么就是一个蠢人。So a person who, even he may be in the human body, is just like a, a foolish animal, like an ass. 这样的一个人，纵使有人类的形体，也不过是像驴一一般的动物罢了。So when Lord Krishna was speaking like this. All the great sages and everyone remained very quiet, very silent. So they were amazed to hear Krishna speak in such a concise way, to present the absolute truth in such a concise manner. 主以这样简洁清晰、这样简洁清晰的阐释生命的绝对真理，这些人听的都感到十分惊奇。Unless you're very advanced in knowledge, we will think ourselves to be the body. 除非人有非常进步的知识，否则会认为自己就是躯体。And we'll think our family members to be our own. 我我们认为我们的家人就是就像我们自己一样。And we'll think the land of our birth is worshipable. 我们认为我们的诞生之地是值得崇拜的。So because we think we're the body, that's why philosophy of nationalism has has come up. 因为我们认同于躯体，民族主义便这样兴起了。So Lord Krishna condemned that philosophy in which people worship their country. 主 Krishna 便谴责了这些崇拜自己国家的观念。Lord Krishna also condemned people who go to holy places just to take a bath. And come back without hearing from the great devotees. Lord Krishna also condemned those who go to holy places to take a bath, but do not use the opportunity to hear from the great devotees. So these people are compared to So these people are compared to foolish animals, like an ass. These people are compared to foolish animals, like an ass. These people are compared to So everyone who heard Lord Krishna, who heard the speech of Lord Krishna, they concluded that Lord Krishna was. The, they could all understand Lord Krishna was the supreme personality of Godhead. 在场的每个人聆听 Krishna 的话，便得出结论：主 Krishna 实际上是至尊人格守神。But they could understand he was playing the part of an ordinary human being. Just like an ordinary person is forced to take a body as a result of reactions of his past deeds. 就像一个被迫，嗯，居住在特定的躯体之内，作为过往
So in the same way, Lord Krishna was playing the pastime of an ordinary human being, just to teach the people. So he, Lord Krishna wanted to show, show the people how they should live for perfection of human life. So the sages understood Krishna was the Supreme Lord, so they began to speak to address him. They wanted to praise him. So they said, they said, the sages said, we are the leaders of human society. And we are supposed to have the proper philosophy of life. But still we get bewildered by your external energy. And we're, we're just surprised to see your behavior. You're behaving just like an ordinary human being. It covers your real identity as the Supreme Lord. So we can see your pastimes to be very wonderful. The sages said to Krishna, said, because of your own energy, you create, maintain and annihilate the whole creation. And you do it in the same way that the earth creates many forms. Just like on the earth, there's many different stones and trees and varieties of names and forms. So you create all these things, but you remain the same. You're not affected by all these different actions. So we're just so we're just shocked, we're surprised to see your wonderful activities. Although you're transcendental to everything and you're the Supreme Lord and you're the super soul of all living entities, but still you appear on this earth just to protect your devotees and kill the demons. So by coming in this world, you re-establish the principles of eternal religion. The human society have forgotten it by because of their long association with the material energy. And you create the different social orders and spiritual orders of society according to quality and worth. 
，您依据品质与工作划分了社会与灵性阶层。And when these orders are not properly established, then you appear and and set them right. You correct them. 当这社会和灵性阶层制度嗯没有。恰当的树立的时候，您便显现，把它重重纳正轨。So the Vedic knowledge is your pure heart. 伟达知识是您的纯粹的心灵。And by doing austerities and studying the Vedas and meditation, people get different realizations of. You. 通过苦修、研习伟达经、冥想，人们对得到对您的不同层次的觉悟。Some understand you in your manifested form, and some understand you in the non-manifested form. 有有些有些人理解理解您。按照您展示的形体理解您，有些人按照您不展示的形体理解您。This world is a manifestation of your impersonal energy. 这个世界是您非人格能量的展示。But you are not manifested there. 您却没有在那里展示您自己。You are the supreme Brahman. 您是至尊法。So for people who are in Brahminical culture, they can understand the truth about your form. 神主，处在婆罗门文化中的人能够明白您的超然形体。And、that's why you always respect the brahmanas. 因此，您总是尊敬这些婆罗门。And you're the top follower of brahminical culture. 您是婆罗追随婆罗门婆罗门文化代表的佼佼者。You are the lord. You're the last word in good fortune. And the last resort of all saintly persons. 您是最好的运气，所有圣人的最后的依靠。So we consider that we have achieved the perfection of our life just by seeing you. 我们认为能够见到你，便是我们生命的终极的完美。We have also per a perfection of our education, our austerity, and our knowledge, transcendental knowledge, has all per become perfect by meeting you. 能够遇见你是我们的教育、苦修、超然知识、完美。You're the ultimate goal of all transcendental achievements. 你是一切超然成就的最终目标。So the sages said to Lord Krishna, "They said, 'Dear Lord, there is no end to your unlimited knowledge.'" 圣者们对主说道，亲爱的主，您的知识无无边无际。And your form is eternally transcendental, full of knowledge and full of bliss. 您的形体是永恒的超然。充满着知识和极乐。And、you are the supreme Brahman. 你是至尊 Brahman. And you are covered by your internal potency, Yoga Maya. 你被你的内在能力 Yoga Maya 所覆盖。So temporarily, temporarily, you are covering your unlimited potency. 你暂时的隐藏了你无穷无尽的能量。But still, we can understand your position. Therefore, we all offer our obeisances to you. 
但是我们能够仍然能够明白你的地位，所以向你顶拜。You are enjoying your pastimes as a human being, covering your real character. 你在享受常人角色的逍遥，隐藏了你的性格。So、none of the kings here, even the Yadu dynasty, who constantly mix with you and eat with you and 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 sit with you, none of them are able to understand that you are the original cause of all causes. 在场的君主，纵使是和你长处。嗯，一起，长处一地，共同进食，并肩而坐的鸭肚族人，也不知道你是原始的万源之源。You are the original cause of all creation. 你是所有创造的源头。Just like when a person dreams at night. Then he will create by the dream different figures. 就像人在晚间做梦，嗯，他会在梦中创造不同的形体。And we may think that's our real body. 我们信以为真。And we forget that the real body is actually there on our on our bed. We, but because we're dreaming, we forget. So as soon as he wakes up, he remembers the real body is actually in. So the same way the conditioned soul thinks sense enjoyment to be real happiness. 同样的，嗯，受条件限制的灵魂，并以为感官享乐是真正的快乐。So by enjoying the material body, the spirit soul is covered. Its consciousness becomes contaminated. 在感官享乐的过程中，灵魂便被遮盖起来，知觉被物质污染。So by material consciousness, nobody can understand Krishna. 没有人可以通过物质的知觉知觉理解 Krishna. The great yogis try to revive the Krishna consciousness by practice of yoga. 伟大的瑜伽师尝试通过瑜伽来恢复 Krishna 之觉。They want to understand your lotus feet. 他们希望能够理解您的莲花足。They meditate upon your transcendental form. 他们冥想您超然的形体。They try to get get rid of the all the sinful reactions which they have. So it said the water of the Ganges can get rid of volumes of a person's sinful reactions. 据说恒河水能洁净人大量的罪恶反应。But that water of the Ganges gets its power only because of the lotus feet of Lord Krishna. 恒河水能得到这样的能力，只是由于主 Krishna 莲花族的仁慈。The water of the Ganga is the perspiration from the lotus feet of Krishna. 恒河水就是主 Krishna 莲花族的汗水。So the sages say we are very fortunate that today we've been able to see your lotus feet directly. 圣者们说：“今天我们有幸亲眼看见您的莲花足。” The sages say to Krishna, "We are all surrendered devotees to your lotus feet." 圣者们对 Krishna 说
Please bestow your mercy on us. People who have been liberated by engagement in devotional service are no longer contaminated by material nature. So they're ready to go back to Godhead, to the spiritual world. So after the sages offered prayers to Lord Krishna, then they wanted to take permission from King Dhritarashtra and King Yudhisthira. And then they were going to depart for their own ashrams. So at that time, Vasudev, who is the father of Lord Krishna, he is the most celebrated of all pious men. And he came to the sages with great humility and offered his respects, falling down at their feet. So Vasudev said, My dear sages, you are more respected than the demigods. So I offer my obeisances unto you. I want you to accept my one request, please. I would consider it a great blessing if you will explain the supreme fruitive activity by which one can counteract the reactions of all other activities. So the great sage Narada was the leader of all the sages present, so he began to speak. So Narada says, I said, my dear sages, it's not very difficult to understand that because of his great goodness and simplicity, Vasudev, who has become the father of Krishna, is inclined to ask us about his welfare. Mm. It is said that familiarity breeds contempt. So Vasudev, having Lord Krishna as his son, did not regard Krishna with awe and veneration. Just like sometimes we see people live on the bank of the Ganges, but they do not consider the Ganges to be very important. 
and instead they go far away to take their bath at a place of pilgrimage. So there's no need for Vasudev to ask us for instruction because Lord Krishna is personally present. The knowledge of Lord Krishna is the best. His knowledge is not affected by the creation, maintenance or destruction. And it's not agitated by the material qualities or changed in the course of time. His form is full of knowledge. Never becomes agitated by ignorance or pride. It's not affected by attachment or envy or sense enjoyment. His knowledge is never subject to the laws of karma. And it's not influenced by the three modes of nature. And no one is greater than or equal to him because he is the supreme personality of Godhead. Conditioned souls may think that he may think that he is equal to Lord Krishna, but Lord Krishna is just like the sun. So, although the sun may sometimes appear to be covered by a cloud, or there may be snow or fog, but by other planets, it's never covered. So less intelligent people, they're covered by such influence. They think that the sun is covered. So the same way persons who are influenced by by sense, by addiction to material enjoyment, they cannot they cannot have a clear vision of Krishna. So we'll stop here tonight. Are there any questions? 
嗯，现在有没有问题呢？开麦。So we're hearing. How Lord Krishna is being received there at Kurukshetra on the occasion of the solar eclipse. We heard how Lord Krishna himself spoke to everyone, how he addressed the great sages and how he delivered transcendental knowledge to everyone. And after Lord Krishna spoke, then the sages also spoke, glorifying Lord Krishna and recognizing Lord Krishna as the Supreme Original Personality of Godhead. Then the sages, the sages were ready to leave. They were taking permission to go, they wanted to go back to their ashram, and at that time Vasudev, Lord Krishna's father, came forward with a question. And he wanted to get transcendental knowledge from the sages. He wanted to know how to get free of all reactions. So Narada Muni was the senior most of all the sages and he's replying to Vasudev's question. Narada Muni Actually, other great sages are there, just like the four Kumaras, they are the elder brothers of Narada Muni. The four Kumaras are the first sons of Brahma, so they are senior by age. But Narada Muni is still given the permission of the most senior person. So Narada Muni replies in saying that actually Vasudev doesn't need to ask this question because he's the father of Lord Krishna. And Lord Krishna is the source of all knowledge. Narada Muni said, Shri Krishna Vasudeva Pushya Bun Jiang Levanti. Yeah, yeah, Shama Yukavanti. Who? Uh Shama. Oh. Shama Kripa. No, no, only Shama. Uh -huh. Hare Krishna, Dimbai Guru Hosu Fujinjo. Chimwan, Ningang Sai Jiang Dao, Chin Jin Sheng Ching Man, Woman Ho Sheng Lian Yi, Xiao Chu Yi Xi Shamana. Yes. Well, when you get association with devotees, the important thing is to hear from them very carefully. Mm 
仔细的聆听。It's an opportunity for us to be benefited by hearing transcendental knowledge. 嗯，这这是一个良机，就是我们能够聆听超然知识，从而获益。So, and sages, when if you have association with sages, it's also an opportunity for us to render service to great sages. And that is a great benefit for us. When we meet with the sages, it is also an opportunity to serve them. So, this serving them also brings us good benefits. And you can also put inquiries. If you you can ask some questions, so that you can understand more about transcendental knowledge. 你可以提出询问，这样就可以更多的来理解呃超然的知识。So it's important for us to know how to associate with the great sages. 所以，我我们需要知道该怎样和伟大的圣者们联谊，呃，这是很重要的。She's asking that the for for me. Familiarity, what? Familiarity brings contempt. Oh, familiarity. What should? Yeah. Well, well, how to avoid that? Well, yes. Well, we shouldn't try to get too close to the the the, the devotees, and at the same time, don't get too far away from them. Because if you get too close to them, then you may think they're ordinary persons. And if you get too far away from them, that if you're too far away from them, then you won't be able to get benefited. You won't be able to take advantage of their association. So yeah, we have to be careful not to become over familiar with the devotees. So we have to be careful not to become over familiar with the devotees. So keeping a humble attitude is important, right? Um, 怀着谦卑的心态是非常重要的 Humble. We have to think of ourselves as being fallen souls. 我们要把自己当成一个堕落的灵魂 And some, by some good fortune. We've got the opportunity to associate with some great souls. So we have to know uh, if we become too familiar with them, become over familiar with them. I mean, we don't. Take time to hear from them, and we don't try to serve them. So it's important to offer all respects, offer all respects to others. And not to be anxious to get respect ourselves, but to want to give respect to others.
it's a very good question. Thank you very much for asking that question. We always have to be careful in our dealings with devotees. We have to keep nice relationships. We, we, don't, we don't know who is great souls, so we should respect all the devotees. Try to offer respects to them, be humble, be tolerant, be kind, give up envy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, because Krishna, Krishna philosophy is so sublime. Yeah. Uh, when we cannot uh, put it into our practical life, we will sometimes to select some uh, uh, man, uh, mundane, mundane uh, yeah. Yeah method to solve the problem, Sing, for example. Singlish, yeah. Yes, yes. Mm. And any influence to our uh, spiritual practice. Yes, it's not going to help our spiritual practice. Mm. We want to try to focus on spiritual practice. The spiritual practice means in relation to Krishna. We go off into mundane mundane activities, material things, different moral moral cult, moral principles and so on. These things don't help us to develop our devotion for Krishna. Mm -hmm. One who is a devotee of Krishna will naturally develop all the good qualities. A devotee of Krishna will naturally follow moral principles and behave nicely and be pleasing to people, respecting elders and so on. So everything is there in Krishna Consciousness. If you just practice Krishna Consciousness, you're, 
You don't need anything else. Everything is already there in Krishna. Okay. Okay. How to get rid of envy? Yeah. Yes, if we have the envy, how to clear, clarify the enemies from our heart? Well, to get rid of envy, we have to understand who, we have to understand our real identity as a spiritual being. Envy is because we think somebody has something which we don't have. Somebody may have more fame or more power or more wealth, and we may envy them. So we have to understand all of these things which we are envy and envy people, we envy others, whatever they have, it, it's temporary, it's material. And it's temporary. And so, you know, wh why should you envy them? They, whatever they have, they won't keep it forever. They can only have it for some time. And after this life is over, they'll give it all up. <laughs> Somebody, somebody has, maybe somebody has a beautiful wife, oh we envy them, oh his wife, the other man's wife is so nice and my wife is not so nice, and, but his wife is so nice we envy. But, but you know, the, you won't have that wife forever. It, it's not an eternal relationship. So we have to understand whatever we possess in this world, whatever situation we're in, this is the result of our past activities. So we're, we're, we're simply suffering and enjoying our own activities just as other people are also suffering and enjoying. Somebody has done a lot of pious activities, so he enjoys a lot of opulence and a lot of success, and somebody else hasn't done much pious activities, they must, may have been sinful, so he's suffering a lot with uh, many problems, uh, material problems, but it's not eternal. These things are all temporary. Okay, 
都是由于我们的过往的活动，导致别人也也跟我们一样，有的人他虔诚，他就享受富裕和成功；不虔诚的人他，他他有罪恶，他就有困难和苦，呃，受苦。但这些是物质的，都不是永恒的，是短暂的。So the best way to overcome envy is by transcendental knowledge. If we develop more transcendental knowledge. Then we can counteract all of this negative thinking in the form of envy. 嗯，克服嫉妒最好的方法就是培养超然知识。我们有嗯更多的超然知识，就能够抵消掉嗯嫉妒这种负面的思想。Yes. 嗯，下一个问题是来自于。呃，拉达南达这个大师，深深顶拜敬爱的圣姑玛拉吉和所有的服务者。请问，在灵性的涟漪中，遭遇那些说话随便、讽刺巴苦，甚至尖酸刻薄的奉献者，该如何与之相处呢？还是开始呢 ？What is this? Yeah, Lada Nanda Mother is asking when. In our spiritual association, we will meet some devotee who speak very harshly. Mm, sometimes, mm, very whimsically, uh, and sometimes even ironically, uh, to speak uh, belittle other devotees. How can we? Deal with this kind of devotee. Oh, we should warn them that their speaking is not appropriate for the assembly of devotees. That it, somebody belittles someone else, you, the, it, you have to consider: is that person is he actually? Qualified to belittle someone? Is he an, an is he an authority figure? Is he really、uh, superior to the other person? And he is he able to judge someone and to and to、uh, put the, and to criticize them in that way? Is that his qualification? Is that his service? Is he worthy to do this? This should be considered. 就是，那我们要警告这样的奉献者，他这样这种说话，我是不恰当的。他有没有资格呢？他是权威的吗？他是年长者吗？他他能够资格这样对别人指手画脚、评评头评头论足、批评别人？他他有有资格做这样的服务吗？他配这样去做吗？ Yeah, we should. We don't. We don't like to、uh, devotees to go around criticizing and back, finding fault with others. It's not everyone's position. It's not everyone's service, and it doesn't create the right atmosphere and mood among devotees. Hmm. We don't like that kind of behavior. 嗯，总是批评别人，挑剔别人，嗯，这这不是每个人应该所处的地位和服务，这也在奉献者的聚会当中造成了不良的气氛和心态。嗯，下一个问题是来 ，Shraddhi Shyam， 这个 Dasi。哈利·克里斯纳顶拜姑姑和奉献者呢？请问，相同的时间段，相同的专注心态，在这种状态下，是一个人念诵圣名好呢，还是去参加更多的人齐诵圣名好呢？相同时间段，在相同的时间段
uh, in the same period of time, in the same uh, attentive mood, under the situation, should I chant the holy name alone, or should I to go to attend the Sankirtan with more people? Well, you have to consider, have you finished your 16 rounds? Have you finished your daily chanting? That's very important that you have to do your daily chanting. Mm. Of course, it's good to go for Sankatan, but you have to also make sure you get your rounds chanted. uh, please accept my humble obeisances. This is Yogita Radha Madhaji. Did the Lord have any reason for speaking such words for the sages? They already knew that he was the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Any other reason he did that? Yogita Sham Radha. Well, you have to understand there were many people there. There were not just only the great sages there. And Lord Krishna is not just speaking only for the benefit of those people there, but he's speaking for the benefit of all people at all times. Just like Lord Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita, he's not just speaking for the benefit of Arjuna, he's speaking for everyone's benefit. Lord Krishna comes to re-establish the principles of religion and he has to, he does it also by his teaching, by his speaking. So he, he was representing all the kings who had gathered there. All the kings had gathered there and their duty was to honor all the great sages. So Lord Krishna spoke words glorifying the great sages. So it's the etiquette. Lord Krishna is showing the etiquette. He's playing the example of an ordinary person by glorifying the sages. He's not glorifying himself, he's glorifying the great sages. Okay. Okay. No more questions. Really? All the hands uh, up? One, one more. Uh, one. Vaishnava. Vaishnava Vani Manachi. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Shri Lord Krishna, 
describes that serving the great souls or Mahatma is the greatest activity to nullify all our sins. We serve by Vani and Mahu. Chanting six rounds is the most important instruction. In case if we feel we are not able to carry out some other instructions properly, should we ask help from Lord Krishna or, or what can we do in a situation? Vani 请求主Krishna帮助,或者是我们在一种情况下可以做什么呢? Well, I'd like to know what situation you mean. You mean you can't chant 16 rounds one day or something? You have some problem, you're not able to chant 16 rounds? You're not able to follow four principles? Or you have a problem there? I don't know what, what the problem is. Yes, Hare Krishna Vaishnavi. Uh, not the uh, 16 rounds are for related principles. Uh, some other instructions like uh, Maybe some minor suggestions or instructions uh, uh, regarding family members or some things uh, like that, Guru Maharaj. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, we can pray to Lord Krishna to help us. Okay, yes, Guru Maharaj. We definitely do like to take help from Krishna. Sometimes we need to pray to Krishna for help, <laughs> but on our, yeah. on, our, on, our, on our own, you know, without Krishna. Uh, and Krishna also tells Arjuna, just be an instrument. So we're just instruments. Krishna is really the doer. Krishna is definitely, yeah. the, he's doing, he's helping us. The, everything, everything we should see that Krishna is there helping us. You know, we, yeah. we, we, yes. you don't have to ask him, he's there helping us. Yeah, yes. Even yes, without yes, you yes, asking yes. him. Yeah. Yes, Guru Maharaj. I understand. Um, Guru Maharaj, here uh, Krishna is already telling that this is the supreme fruit of activity, right? Then why uh, uh, Vas Vasudeva is asking the same again? Uh, Krishna has already told that uh, serving the Mahatma is the um, best activity, something like that, right? Uh huh. Yeah, now, now Vasudeva is asking what is the supreme fruit of activity? No, he was asking how to get rid of sins, how to counteract sins, and get rid of all of his sins. Yeah, but did, did not Krishna say that serving the great souls will nullify all the sin and envy, like that, right? Well, Lord Krishna was speaking about the importance of serving the great souls, that, that yeah. by serving the great souls you get spiritual knowledge, you get liberation. Yes, yes, Guru But Vasudev's question is a little different. Mm. Yes, yes, Guru Yeah, it's just about fruitive activity, right? Yes. Because Vasudeva is the Grihastha, and he has many wives, <laughs> so he is okay. very much concerned with things. He's a politician also, he's a Kshatriya politician, so he's concerned yeah. with fruitive activities. 
but he wants to counteract the reactions of sense. Okay. Anyway, we'll hear more. We have to hear the answer. We didn't hear all the answer yet. Yet. Is it Yuvati Sachi got her hand up? Did you get that question, Gurumani? Yeah, yes. Uh, 我们可以在这种情况下肯定是希望得到Krishna帮助 因为他是军事又是政治家，所以他平常从事这些活动呢，想知道怎这些果报活动怎么能够去除这些罪恶罪恶的反应。但是到后面我们还会接着讲，读到后面的时候。Yes。Yeah, good. Did we hear you, Vati Sachi's question? My question is, are uh, this uh, spiritual body and Swarupa uh, the same things? But Swarupa, Swarupa is a form in the spiritual world. Yeah, Swarupa, yeah, you could say it's the same thing. Swarupa means a form which we have in the spiritual world. Aguru mm -hmm. Maharaj, and I have uh, one more question. Uh, can we develop the spiritual body in the material world? Well, it seems like some people do it, some great souls. Their bodies are not material because they're using, they're completely dedicated.